Hi guys, uh, I'm Dr. Zainab Bora and I have with me Dr. Devesh who's uh, secured uh, rank 2 in INICT May 2024. Um, first of all, congratulations and and um, I remember you from our Cerebellum uh, quiz round where, where you performed uh, really well. Uh, so many congratulations. Uh, tell me how you're feeling and, and I know you've been giving a lot of interviews <laughs> all across YouTube. So <laughs> how has uh, the last two days been for you? Yes, first of all, thank you, ma'am. It's an honor to be interviewed by you. Uh, everybody knows now. Zainab Bora, ma'am, is the new standard for NEET PG preparation. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. So, yeah, everyone is very happy. And uh, yes, I have been given too many interviews. <laughs> I do feel a bit tired, but yes, anything to help everyone, right? Great. That's great. So uh, tell me uh, your process from MBBS. How, how were you as a student? What were the textbooks that you read? When did you switch to, you know, actually watching uh, core videos or, or reading notes and solving QBank? So so what was your journey like? So ma'am, I'm a 2018 batch student. So I joined KM Hospital in 2018. Yeah. So since first year, I have been studying sincerely, I would say, means uh, for prof exams also and we I mean in KM there is a lot of quizzing culture so I was in contact with seniors who used to you know win not even give just keep on winning quizzes yeah so that led me to that direction that for, for since first year I have been studying sincerely so I had a very good base like I would say in first year itself anatomy we used to study BDC hmm. I mean physiology I have studied I didn't like Guyton much, contrary to normal uh, yeah. standard, but I have read Ganong, I have read uh, Constanzo, something which much most people don't know. But yeah. And Biochem, I have studied uh, Satya Narayan, Harper was a bit too much for me. And uh, But I would say my second year subjects were the strongest. Yeah. I have done first year, I have done Pathoma, I have done all standard book study. I have read Gobindad Sir's Hmm. Review book that is the standard in K. That was the standard in KM yeah. when I was in second. Uh, yeah, second same year. with us. I mean, when we were preparing back in uh, like I'm from 2009 batch, almost 10 years oh. near to you. So even we used to read GRG sir's book, you know. Everybody is studying that for uh, format. Yeah. Instead of any means, you don't need to even read KD3, but you can just read that book and you are good to go. Correct. And pathology, I had studied Robbins. Uh, both volumes. So I had done that sincerely also with Pathoma mainly. Mm -hmm. And QBank solving, I had started mostly USMLE stuff. Mm -hmm. like Did you give your USMLE step. exams as I well? Have, I have given step one in uh, okay. mid of third year, like when after All COVID right. restrictions were removed around. You think October. that helped? You think that helped? Yes, I think that definitely helped. Not exactly like the questions mm -hmm. were not similar in INICT, but mm -hmm. of course it gives you confidence that the you can easily solve the big stem questions and you don't panic. You know how to read the last line and just yeah. directly go for the answer. There were two, three questions which I answered in three, four seconds itself. Mm. In yeah. INI, just because last line you read first. Otherwise, people must have wasted some time in reading yeah. the... Yeah, I think you learn the knack of picking up buzzwords from that. And and also, I think that would have set your first, second year base very, very strongly. You know, once you give first, uh, first, and when you read first aid, you solve your world, that kind of clarifies first, second year, which which I feel is Achilles heel for most of uh, the students. So I have been studying first and second year for first mm -hmm. year, second year, which was two years, yeah, and half of third year. So yeah. I studied too much of first and second year, I would say. Which, which then, makes a lot of difference. And in third year, like third year exams were in Feb. February, hmm. March, and I had started with ENT in November. Okay. So till then, I was just doing first <laughs> and second year only. Yeah. Yeah. First, second year was very strong, which actually hmm. makes uh, means made it much better. Your preparation much better because third, fourth year, I don't think you need to focus in hmm. too much depth because they are not asking. Everything is a specialty. Hmm. So of course, if they ask something, then you are not going to know anything. Like yeah. you can't study standard books of ENT, of and everything. Hmm. Uh, PSM also I couldn't finish par. I just read the prof. Uh, whatever I am, we have IMP question set. So for mm. studying for prof. Okay. So that's what I used to study for third year itself. Okay. And I study. We started preparing with videos in third year itself. Around okay. third year. Basically, I left standard books in mm. third year. Okay. 
Hmm. Which is uh, unique, you know, because now what I'm seeing is that students want to start doing coaching notes and they want to, you know, fast forward to third year and medicine and hmm. everything from second year itself, you know, which I don't think is very, very wise. You know, I think first and second year should be first and second year and those become the founding blocks of everything, you know, uh, right from final prof to entrances. And that's what, you know, your your story also kind of shows. Yes, man. Even if you like are doing coaching notes, then do it ex means fully, like thoroughly. Mm -hmm. You have to do no shortcuts for first and second year. Yeah. Because I will tell something else. I have never studied medicine for need. Yeah. I I can easily answer with my micro patho and pharmac knowledge itself. And I have done your integrate means I didn't do anything from medicine. So again, mm -hmm. I was panicking. Yeah. So I did your integrated one, uh, which also had uh, everything. I think it was first aid based uh, information, yeah. and it had. In subject uh, system wise, it had system wise everything from physio to uh, medicine. Hmm. So I don't think you need to go in too much depth for medicine. There was hardly any tough questions in INI yeah. specifically for medicine. Like core medicine topics asked were acidosis and alkalosis. That I think anyone can answer. Yeah, yeah because you know, medicine. Is, is something that you learn over a long term. You can't study medicine for an entrance, you know. It's something which you can never do in one month or two months or yes, people yes. Said 10 days for medicine. Something that you've learned and that's how the questions will be as ambiguous as they get, you know. And, and you read the option and answer is there. You can't find it from your brain. It's there in front and you find it. Like you will feel that you don't know it, but <laughs> in the options and all, you will get it. So, yeah. like, so for example, I gave one quiz also. <laughs> so it was... First 20 questions were on myasthenia gravis itself <laughs> from Harrison. I didn't know even two answers out of 20. <laughs> if they ask in such a manner, then of course nobody can answer. So it's yeah. a waste of time, I feel. Yeah. But otherwise, it's uh, it's beneficial to just focus on second year subjects. Right. So so in your final two years of profs, you, you did videos, you did QBank entirely. What what was the process like that time? QBank, not entirely, but majority hmm. of the QBank was done. So I did uh, third and fourth. Final year, I was studying for final year prof exam itself. Like, hmm. So I was doing the QBank simultaneously, except for surgery, I feel it was weak. Surgery and OBGYN, I couldn't completed properly because that I thought the IMP questions and need PG was quite different for mm -hmm. surgery and OBG. Like they're right. asking something else in the main mm -hmm. exam and in the uh, MCQ based question. Right. So in the start of internship, then whatever QBank was left, I started completing subject. Okay. okay. So, so what was your approach? Like how was your internship? How much time uh, did you get and, and what was your focus then? Yeah. So my internship started in April, uh, last year, April. Yeah. So there are three or four heavy postings, I would say, like uh, medicine, surgery and OBGYN. So apart from that, in rest of the posting, uh, we can easily study. So KM is not very hectic in internship, I would say, except for one or two days in a week when there is emergency duty, you will be very tired. So I started with my weak subject and I'm a guy who likes to do the short subjects and all means, uh, uh, other things more more often than the main main things. Like main <laughs> things to me karna hi padega last minute. <laughs> so short bar bar, like Dharma and Ortho I've done too many times, I would say. Okay. And uh, then other main subjects. Because main fear, I know I have to do in the end, so someone will finish it. And then if you can do more subjects in a short amount of time, you feel more confident. I have four subjects, liye, five subjects. Sure. So I started yeah. with short subjects, which were weak, like anesthesia and stuff. Then I went on to finish all tough. So that Three was subjects. all from RR or, or what What was your approach that time? How Were you doing the same notes that you had done over and over again and yeah, concising so, them or, or what was yeah. the So notes? for first reading, I did my notes only and the mm -hmm. QBank revision I did. And then I started with BTR. Uh, then I started with BTR. So in okay. BTR, uh, so for anesthesia, PSM was a big weak area that BTR really helped. Also P uh, PSM and anesthesia also that pro pro seal first page only you have uh, yeah. taught. I think laryngeal mask airway. That question was also there. Mm -hmm. uh, anesthesia was I think four or five questions of a simple short subject, so it really helped. The focus on this year's paper was, I think, shorter yeah. subjects like ortho and anesthesia. Hmm. Hmm. Correct. So basically, you did your own notes along with BTR. So that served as 
you know the factual things were were sorted there and then long term knowledge which you had you know you reemphasize that and i think it's always prudent to go back to what you've read you know a lot of students switch to a new thing uh, so that's mm. not uh, always the best idea create a visual memory by going back to the same thing and then maybe supplement it with something like btr or or any rr yeah so that's nice and and finally if we talk about the exam day how was the exam for you how how was your mindset any setbacks uh, or or were you confident um, and calm throughout like you seem uh, to be uh, yeah so ma'am first of all our center my i live in mumbai so hmm. my center came in nasik that was itself uh, disheartening Because so I had to travel then one day I had to travel. The they took us in at seven thirty itself. The exam starts at nine. Yeah. So again one hour twenty minutes. I just had to sit uh, mm. in front of the computer. That itself you can means you can start to panic there yeah. also. Yeah. So the exam starts from that time only. I feel like you need to be calm from that time only. Because yes. so if you get frustrated, then you will start to means mark and just move ahead. So that you can't do. Then uh, when the paper started, uh, I was lucky that first block means I didn't know the paper was new. Someone new is setting it. I don't know how the question will be. Yeah. So the first three four questions were extremely easy. So as soon as I saw, but still I was taking a lot of time. Hmm. But the mark करने की हाँ A is this only B is this only. So I was wasting a lot of time, but hmm. I was feeling confident. Then after that I started marking it very quickly. Like if I know the answer, no yeah. wasting of time. Mm-hmm. So yeah, first block me then that's what first block was very good. So I mm-hmm. thought that I will easily get forty four, forty five mm-hmm. easily, and I think I left one question. Okay. Then from the second block, questions started like actual mm-hmm. INICT questions started. Mm-hmm. Second and third block, and there are a lot of anatomy questions which I was not confident in. I don't know they were asking with too many gross anatomy questions. Yeah. So, yeah. So second and third block, third block was the toughest for me. Like I could not even uh, review my uh, mm. questions. So instead of marking that mark for review mm. thing because it is not counted, yeah, I was just writing it on the paper. So yeah. that was one strategy I used. Unka pen chal nahi raha tha, so kisna pad raha tha. Okay. That I had to do, and then I was just quickly checking, and then ek do actually review karte hoy bhi I changed one or two answers. I feel mm. I got it correct. Okay. So, yeah. So changing that the answers, important. you got you. Your I means I, what I was in first block. I was trying to think then and there itself hmm. on the tough questions. Yeah. From second block, I changed my strategy. Like I quickly yeah. do the tough questions. Mm-hmm. If I have enough time, then I will just think. If you think, right. then you can get to the answer. Basically, questions mm-hmm. were of those types. So yeah. that was what I was doing, and I could uh, means mark. Like there was a for example, I'll give an example. Mm-hmm. There was a question: Coronary bacterium diphtheria. Hmm. Was this myocarditis? Yeah, and the reason was it is causing bacteremia. Hmm. Now, if you don't think quickly, I was marking assertion correct, reason correct. Hmm. I knew that uh, the uh, there is binding to EGFR receptor and all that. I was thinking, yeah, hmm. it binds to this and goes to that, and I forgot that toxemia is not hmm. bacteremia. You know, hmm. In the end, I changed it. Yeah, I remembered. So yeah, so no overthinking also should be hmm. avoided. I think. But you should be able to come back to the question. So I think speed is important in I N I. Not so much in NEET PG, but I N I you need speed also. Yeah, sometimes you know when you are in a better frame of mind, that kind of clicks, you know, which is not clicking at the first moment. So it's always wise yes, to sir. come back to questions which you have a slight doubt at. Don't uh, uh, you know what I I feel uh, and what I have figured out about changing the answers is never change the answer to a fact based question, you know, because that's coming from a place of instinct. But if it's a concept based thing where you have to apply mind, give it time if if you have time, you know, and then go ahead and change in such clinical settings. So that's what I I. I figured great so so ultimately like how many you think you attempted uh, yeah so i attempted 194 questions okay that's and that's around 40 43 doubts i had so 160 to 170 range that's what i i think all of the toppers top 100 which uh, you know i i talked to hmm. some that range which is uh, 
which is more or less constant you know through decades if i can say <laughs> yeah so so that's nice amazing uh, so uh, final final advice to you know your juniors who are now starting to prepare in internship and also people you know who have need uh, right around the corner so what what would you have done in the final uh, one month and and uh, what should be the strategy for people who are starting out now yeah so for those who have uh, need just in one month just stick to the basics and revise uh, so no need to like again if you start panicking ki i and i may nahi hua neat mein fir same questions won't come means from my notes and all that so that is not needed you have to believe that what you have studied questions will come from that and you need to maximize like exam day mindset should be good basically you yeah. cannot uh, means you have to be ready that's what i would say like one week before also you need to have a clear mindset not just on the day of the exam so mm-hmm. that would be my advice to the neat pg aspirants for juniors uh, just do your prof uh, subjects properly and uh, means don't ask too many like doubts like <laughs> should i do this should i do that just uh, pick one thing and do that's what i saw that keep it simple people are, yeah people are very confused ki should i do this should i do that yeah. rather than doing they are just asking i feel so yeah. that they can change like yeah you are only studying you have to believe that what you are studying is going to come like syllabus to wahi hai hmm. so if you can do it then just do it more times that's what yeah. i yeah yeah keep it simple this absolutely you know so whatever you're doing just have the belief that that's going to work out and give it your 100% problem becomes that hum sab kuch karna chahte in the process kuch bhi theek se nahi ho pata you know so so don't uh, fall for that great uh, devesh so so you know very clear that from from you know uh, the beginning of mbbs you kept it simple you were focused you were consistent and you know it's usually consistency which and and boring stuff over and over again yeah. which is the result at the end uh, so great so what what do you want to take now ma'am i'll take uh, radio and pgi i am taking uh, delhi doesn't have general seats this time <laughs> yes that's sad that's really sad uh but it's okay pj is a good place yeah yeah, yeah. no issue <laughs> awesome <laughs> great all the best so hopefully um, I'll, i'll see you around soon and and congratulations yes. all the best uh, for the journey ahead thank, thank you man. Man.